Hey guys, my name is Itzy and today's video is going to be about this crappy feeling known as regret. So what is regret? Well, Google so kindly shares that regret means to feel sad or disappointed over something that has already happened or been done, especially a missed opportunity. And like I said, regret is a very terrible feeling. It's this feeling that makes us stay in bed all day and it invades our thoughts. Like the, the thing that we did or didn't do, it, it, it literally just invades our thoughts all day. Regret can be a bad or good thing because it can take control of us um, if you give it the chance to. So. Let's say that you um, didn't take uh, the opportunity to do something when you had the chance. What regret does is it makes us stay in bed all day thinking about it nonstop and all we're thinking about the shoulda, coulda, would'ves and it just it doesn't allow us to be as productive as we usually are. All we're thinking when we regret something is why didn't I take the chance? Because um, regret consumes us despite the size. So if it's something as small as why didn't I tell that person I like them? Or something bigger like why didn't I follow my dreams when I had the money? So the question that you have to ask yourself is am I going to let regret take control of me today? Because the thing about regretting something that you shouldn't, um, that you should have taken the chance to do is that an opportunity that you should have taken is already passed. Like you, you miss, you miss that chance already. You can't go back in time, um, no matter how freaking hard you try, and change the decision that you made at that time. You know, you can replay it in your mind over and over and over again, but it's all going on in your mind. Nothing's actually happening in reality. But if you heard my words earlier, you heard that I that I said that you missed that chance. So just because you missed that chance doesn't mean that you can't create something new for yourself. Like, why do you have to wait until the time comes again where you could tell that person you like them? You know, why don't you get in your car and drive to that person's house and tell them yourself? You don't, sometimes you just have to create the paths yourself. You know, you can't just wait around. You have to go out and actually do it. So instead of, instead of, um, thinking about what could have been, go out and create what will be. Regret will also eat you alive if you did something that you wish you shouldn't have. And I'm sure you know what I mean. You've probably said um, something bad about another person that you regretted it right afterwards. I think that the best solution for this type of regret is to communicate. Um, you have to push your pride away and actually go talk to the person you hurt or it doesn't even have to be about pain, you know, this is just an example. But you have to go to that person you hurt and you have to apologize. It's all about communication. If you want to fix things, you need to be willing to take action. Let go of regret. Don't let it have the upper hand. And if um, you do feel that regret is taking control of you, then instead of um, allowing it to, to bring you down, then let it motivate you instead. So feel the regret right now so that later you'll know to actually go after something or not say something bad to someone because you don't want to feel that regret again. So instead of letting it bring you down, let it motivate you. So that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in more, subscribe to this channel where I will be uploading a video every other Wednesday or you can check out um, my blog at eatsayana.com for awesome videos and challenges and all that cool stuff. And follow me on my social media accounts where the links are going to be down below. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you next, next Wednesday. <laughs> Bye.